I feel like I'm going to be able to rob a casino after all of this. Hey, it's Addie, and today we are watching Ocean's Eleven. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, welcome. Today we are watching Ocean's Eleven, and I'm definitely looking forward to this one. I think it's listed as comedy crime. So I think this is going to be a lot of fun today. I know that we have George Clooney and also Brad Pitt. I think they're the two main guys in this. And I didn't look up the rest of the cast. I feel like there are a lot of big names in this movie, but I wanted to surprise myself a little bit. But I did already know that George Clooney was in this, Brad Pitt was in this. And I'm just, I don't know. I think I'm just looking forward to watching a fun movie today. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe for more reaction videos. And let's get into Ocean's Eleven. Please state your name for the record. Daniel Ocean. While this was your first conviction, you have been implicated in over a dozen other confidence schemes and frauds. <laughs> over a dozen. So he's definitely going to do this again. Was there a reason you chose to commit this crime? My wife left me. I got into a self-destructive pattern. Is it likely you'd fall back into a similar pattern? Yes, absolutely. What do you think you would do if released? Commit some crime. I mean, they said over a dozen. He's absolutely doing this again. This is definitely not a one-time thing. Or maybe getting caught is a one-time thing. Ooh. Oh, I was thinking he, just in the last scene, he looked a lot older with the beard. Look at him, woo. You have a good one. How are you, you know sir? Him? Hello, Frank. You do know him? My name is Ramon. As you can see right here. Sure it is, Frank. You might want to try the lounge at the Caesars. It gets busy after one o'clock. One o'clock? Yes, sir. Ramon. <laughs> Glad to meet you. You just got out? This afternoon. You seen him? Last I heard he was teaching movie stars how to play cards. You have a plan already? Officer Brooks, this is Danny Ocean. I was told to contact you within 24 hours. No, sir, I haven't been drinking. I wouldn't even think about leaving the state. <laughs> I would never. Are you incorporated? I could totally make it a tax write-off. The one thing is, and this is like just his thing, I'd have to pay you by check. <laughs> He's not gonna go for that. Or we could just stick to cash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's, <clears throat> yeah, let's just stick to cash. <laughs> How you bet is your business. You wanna make them think you're betting for a reason. Yeah, thanks, man. Right, right. All right, I'm in. Is he teaching them? Okay, at this point, I had already forgotten Frank's line. You know this one. Last I heard, he was teaching movie stars how to play cards. I had already forgotten that he said that. So now, watching this as I'm editing this, the scene is so much better now that I know that these actors are playing themselves. That's so good. I definitely uh, missed that in my first watch. Red. <laughs> yeah. What up, guy. dog? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna love spending your money. Spending your money. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look who oh, it hey. is. Rush, uh, we got another player. Look who definitely left the state. <laughs> what do you do for a living, if you don't mind me asking? What What? What, what do you say you prison. do? Well, why were you in prison? I stole things. What did you steal? Ink and matrimonial head masks. Any money in those? There's boatloads, if you can move them, but you can't. That's $500. Oh. Today's lesson, how to draw out the bluff. That much money this early in the game I'm saying he's holding nothing better than a pair of face cards. I'll see you 500. Raise it 2,000. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. but I'm staying in. He's trying to buy his way out of his bluff. Is that what's happening? I imagine that's what's happening. Seems like Brad Pitt knows how to read a room. I'm not sure what the four nines does, but the ace I think is pretty high. Thanks for the tip on coming out the bluff. It's never been done before, so I need planning. A large crew. What's the target? Eight figures each. What's the target? When was the last time you were in Vegas? A casino? What? You want to knock over a casino? Three? Three, three casinos? This is probably the least accessible vault ever designed. Yep. <laughs> Good. These are Terry Benedict's places. Yes, they are. Do you know Terry? Is this, is this personal? You're trying to hit Terry hard? You think you can get the money to back this? Benedict's got a long list of enemies. Ruben, I need a reason. Why do this? Because a house always wins. Unless when that perfect hand comes along, you bet big and then you take the house. 
been practicing this speech a little bit. Did I rush? It felt like I rushed. <laughs> no, it good. I liked it. <laughs> he said four years to practice. I wonder what Ruben will say. You're out of your goddamn minds. I know more about casino security than any man alive. I invented it. This is the dad from Friends. <laughs> this is such a fun character. <laughs> Once you're out the front door, you're still in the middle of the f***ing desert. You're right. <laughs> He's right. Our eyes were bigger than our stomachs. But they're still gonna do it. I owe you from the thing with the guy in the place, and I'll never forget it. <laughs> but we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, which casinos did you geniuses pick to rob? The Bellagio, the Mirage, and the MGM Grand. Those are Terry Benedict's casinos. What do you got against Terry Benedict? Yeah, there, it's personal. There's something here. This sort of thing used to be civilized. You'd hit a guy, he'd whack you, done. But with Benedict... <laughs> so civilized. You better not know you're involved or think you're dead because he'll kill you and then he'll go to work on you. Eh. You're gonna need a crew as nuts as you are. Who do you got in mind? Let, let's let's meet our crew. Developed a bad case of bronchitis and is putting in for a transfer to warmer climates. <laughs> His face got me. <laughs> There's no way it's faster than the real one, though. <laughs> Poor little guy. Livingston Dell. How are his nerves? Okay. Not so bad you notice. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Phil Turrentine. Dead. He sent flowers. Dated his wife for a while. Oh. Basher's in town. There might be an issue with availability. All right, chips. I didn't know he was in this either. <laughs> Satisfying. Oh, lay the out. <laughs> You're close. Peck, ATF. We'll take it from here. Go find Greg's tome. I need to see him. Who? Just find him, will ya? Hey, Bench. Hey, Russ. I've got some good stuff together for what I just slipped in. Ah, it's done. And now we're just gonna walk away from the scene of the crime. Easy peasy. Everybody down! Get it! <laughs> they might expect it. That's. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Oh my gosh. Which one's the amazing Yen? The little Chinese guy. Who else is on the list? He is the <laughs> list. I don't know. It doesn't seem all that different. Wow. Is he our guy? We need Saul. He won't do it. Got out of the game a year ago. Ulcers. You could ask him. Hey, I could ask him. How you been, Saul? Never better. So all you the best there is. I got a duplex now. I'm seeing a nice lady who works the unmentionable counter at Macy's. Oh, scandalous. Guys like us don't change, Saul. So. We stay sharp or we get sloppy. We don't change. So are you gonna treat me like a grown-up at least? Tell me what the scam is? I think he'll be interested when he finds out that it's eight figures each. Hmm. Oh, ulcer's coming back. Saul makes 10. 10 ought to do it, don't you think? No, it's 11, I assume, because Ocean's 11. You think we need one more? Is it gonna be? All right, we'll get one more. <laughs> Brad Pitt didn't even, wasn't even a part of that conversation. <laughs> He's in Chicago. Is that who I think it is? He just took that guy's wallet and he didn't even notice. That is Matt Damon. <laughs> yeah, this cast is stacked. Who are you? A friend of Bobby Caldwell's. What is it? It's a plane ticket. A job offer. That's the best lift I've seen you make yet. Las Vegas, huh? I guess he's in. What I'm about to propose to you is both highly lucrative and highly dangerous. That doesn't seem like your particular brand of vodka. You can have a safe journey, no hard feelings. Otherwise, come with me. Or are you the only one on the fence? You're Bobby Caldwell's kid, huh? That's wonderful. Get in the goddamn house. <laughs> okay. This is the vault at the Bellagio. We're gonna rob it. Smash and grab job, huh? Slightly more complicated than that. A few oh, more yeah. steps. This is courtesy of Frank Catton. <laughs> I think I'm gonna like Matt Damon's character. 
The elevator won't move without authorized fingerprint identification. Which we can't fake. And vocal confirmation. Yeah. Which we won't get. Furthermore, the elevator shaft is rigged with motion detectors. You said something about good news? The casino must hold in reserve enough cash to cover every chip it play on its floor. On a weekday, by law, it has to carry anywhere between 60 and 70 million dollars in cash and coin. On the weekend, on a fight mm. night, like the one two weeks from tonight, the night that we're going to rob it, 150 million without breaking a sweat. Without breaking a sweat. But is there a plan of how to break in? Because that sounds so complicated. We're just supposed to walk out of there with $150 million in cash on us without getting stopped? Yeah. How, though? I don't suppose they have a closed circuit feed I could tap into. They employ an in-house technician? Two, and one of them is lonely. Oh. oh. Let me just take that real quick. Call him pal, friend. Are you going friend, jackass? Don't oh, call me a jackass. for the camera. Genius. You just have it drawn on your on your hand. And we're up and running. Hi. Well, thanks. Oh. Just keep walking. Just keep walking. You're sweating so much. That's so suspicious. Oh no. Did you leave something? Hey, hold up a minute. And you have ink on your forehead. Excuse me. Uh, hey. Drop this. How's reception on those things? Excellent. Take care. Oh, so he was just trying to be helpful. Oh gosh, I thought they were about to capture him. Interrogate him. So are you sure you're ready to do this? If you ever ask me that question again, Daniel, you will not wake up the following morning. Okay. <laughs> Okay, tell me about Benedict. Good afternoon, Mr. Benedict. Right, he arrives at the Bellagio every day at 2 p.m. Spends three minutes on the floor with his casino manager. Benedict likes to know what's going on in his casinos. There's rarely an incident he doesn't know about or handle personally. Black portfolio. Thank you, Doc. Contents, the day's take, and new security codes. Then he heads to the restaurant. So we somehow need to get that at some point? We need those security codes. That portfolio contains the codes to all the kids' doors. Mm-hmm. This guy is as smart as he is ruthless. Now comes a girl. She comes down after him if they're in a snit. Where's she come from? Museum up there. She's a curator. Ooh, look who it is. Still don't know if we can use her yet. Actually, I haven't even caught her name. Tess. You know her? Tell me this is not about her. Oh, I am walking. I am walking off this job right Ooh. now. Tell me this is not about screwing the guy who's screwing your wife. Ex-wife. Tell me. It's not about Ooh. that. Oh, it's absolutely what this is about. Not entirely about that. It's mostly about that. A weak stomach, Mr. Zerga? I don't believe in weakness. It costs too much. Lyman Zerga in the third position. We should speak to you privately. He's staying here? Checked in two nights ago. Is this You're 30 George seconds Clooney? late. I was about to send out. No, this sir. is George Clooney. You're going to ruin this whole operation. I'm out of prison. You're not wearing your ring. I sold it. I don't have a husband, or didn't you get the papers? Go now, before... What? Benedict? I don't make this quick. I came here for you. I want to get on with my life. I want you with me. You're a thief and a liar. I only lied about being a thief. I don't do that anymore. Steal. Lie. Ah, uh, we still definitely steal. I'm with Terry now. Does he make you laugh? He doesn't make me cry. Oh. Oh. I have a package arriving here that evening, the contents of which is very valuable to me. What can you offer me besides the safe? The giant vault? I know what I'm doing. What are you doing? Is this Terry? Yeah, that's Terry. Terry, meet my ex-husband. Danny Ocean. Mr. Ocean? I'm in your seat. Danny was walking through the restaurant and spotted me. Danny was just about I to... just stopped by to say hi to Tess for old time's sake. Stay and have a drink. You okay. can't. <laughs> I don't imagine we'll be seeing Mr. Ocean anytime soon, right? Mm -hmm. You never know. I know everything that's happening in my hotels. This is awkward. <laughs> Good to see you, Tess. Uh, I hope you didn't ruin the whole operation because of that. Ah, oh. oh, wild. That's your dream. All of those explosives, your dream. Is he in one of these holy cards? 
All yeah, access sure points is. to the vault and its elevator will automatically shut down for two minutes. Oh my gosh. You're so talented. Ten says he shorts it. Twenty. Twenty. You did it. You did that. Yeah, I guess it was important to build the vault. Yeah, we're in deep sh They've only nosed up the mainframe couplet, nosed it right up. Do you understand any of this? I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know what that means. Listen, they did the same what I would have done, only they did it by accident. Problem is now they know their weakness and they're sorting it out. They're fixing it. We could use a pinch. What's a pinch? What's a pinch? Good question. Pinch is a device which creates like a cardiac arrest for any broadband electrical circuitry. Could a pinch knock out the power of an entire city? Yeah, I think it might. Okay. But there's only one pinch in the whale big enough to manage it. Okay. So we have to take it? I mean, I guess if we're going about to steal 150 million, we might as well steal a pinch while we're at it. My hands not in your hands. Yeah, right right Matt Damon's you? about to get out of this I'm not touching you, so I'm not right right I'm not, I didn't touch you. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be in this van either. I don't know any of the characters' names. I just know the actors. Okay, Danny Ocean. I remember that one. Everyone else, I have no idea what your name is. Oh, there's a Saul. I think there's a Linus. He walked in right as they're walking out. They're leaving without right, Matt I'm Damon. Gonna call back. He's a uh, long and a couple wire with the Linus. Linus. There he is. Oh, would you look at his oh, donut. Is he... Did he just want to jump out? Yeah, maybe he should have just stayed in the van. We'll, we'll, we'll get in? Yeah, you shouldn't. You should not have gotten out of the van. Jesus. Ow, 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 ow. Also, is that going to affect any of the, the stunty things that he's going to do? We have a problem. You've been red flagged. It means the moment you set foot in that casino floor, they'll be watching you. Any idea how this happened? No. Oh, come on. He's been chasing Benedict's girl. The two of them got in an argument two nights ago. I was telling you. And who told you to do that? I did. You're out, Danny. He's out? It's either that or we call the whole thing off. Wait, wait, wait. He can't just be out. Who's going to trigger the vault? Kid, you up for it? I can do it. Tess is with Benedict now? She's too tall for him. <laughs> I hope changing one person doesn't mess up our entire plan, though. Don't touch your tie. Look at me. I ask you a question. You have to think of the answer. Where do you look? You look down, they know you're lying. And mm. up, they know you don't know the truth. Look always at your mark, but don't There's stare. There's so much to learn. There's such a skill to this. I'm learning how to lie. I'm learning to be a liar. Saul, it's time. Yeah. Saul's not looking so good. I'm afraid he's going to have a heart attack or something. I'm afraid I can't have any private security personnel in the casino cages. I hope we don't mind. <laughs> of course not. Soul! Soul Bloom, is that you? Oh no. Hey! Hey! Soul! Oh, no. Soul! Hey! Benedict, don't think anything of it! Oh, uh, I, I'm afraid he knows that something is up. I cannot actually allow you to accompany the briefcase into the vault. Why not? I just don't trust you. Yeah. You'll be able to monitor your briefcase right from here. Don't let me keep you. Linus, you're up. Hi, Sheldon Willis. Nevada Gaming Commission. I'm afraid I need two minutes of your time. Anything for the NGC. Okay, off to a good start. Don't mess this up. They're about to kick you out. Ramon Escalante? Yes. Sheldon Willis, Nevada Gaming Commission. It's come to our attention that when you apply I for this position, I think it'll be position, better if you, you speak off the floor. Now they're moving. You're just gonna leave that there? I'm just afraid there's like a lot of messiness to this plan. I don't know. You are up to something, Danny. What? No matter what it is, you won't win me back. Tess, I just came to say goodbye. Goodbye. Mr. Ocean, mm -hmm. Mr. Benedict would like to see you. I thought he might. Mr. Benedict, I'm afraid you've been employing an ex-convict. And as you know, the NGC is- Goddamn cracker. Excuse me? You heard what I said. Black man can't earn a decent wage in this state. That is oh, absolutely crack a cowboy like you gonna try to throw me out on the no, street. No. <laughs> That's a good performance you're putting on. We at the NGC have always supported the hiring of colored. Uh, no, no, I didn't mean. I didn't, I didn't mean. Okay, come on, sit down. Oh, did did Benedict notice? This was a fun plan. Oh, they've thought of everything. You are so, so stupid. You know that you're hey, a nymph. Hey, you're you. It's obvious. Hey. 
Sorry. Please tell me they'll just Sorry. let. Where, just tell me, where did this go? High rollers room. Benedict's money goes into the vault, you know that. Okay, I hope that they take him to the right place. There, there's your briefcase now, Mr. Zerger. Oh, I just, I, I'm afraid he's going to have a heart attack during all of this. Show this man off the premises. Don't have to set foot in my casino again. Crap! Oh, oh dear God. Oh, I, I forgot my pager. I left it. Sorry. You know your way back? I do. Good. Oh. Oh, he slipped up. That was a mistake, Mr. Benedict. No cameras in this room. Huh? Don't want anybody seeing what goes on in here. He's not coming, is he? It's about to happen. What are they going to do to you in this room? What are they about to do to you? Who is this? We're going to step outside now. Leave you two alone to talk things over. If I talk things over, you mean beat him up? I assume that's what's coming next. Okay, so they made it to the vault. Good. No. All right. Ah! Mm, yeah, that's exactly what's happening in this room. Not until later. Sorry, Danny. I forgot. Wait, we know each other? This was a part of the plan? Pregnant again. Oh, I didn't expect that. Hey, 31, I got a bogey in West Corridor. Just call a doctor! I mean, maybe this is a part of the plan? We have a man down and he appears to be unconscious. Oh, this was a part of the plan? But he was really sweating. I have so many questions. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Surprise. Someone call for a doctor? <laughs> How did you get here? This plan is so involved. There's so many steps. I'm sorry. We've lost him. Come on, get up. Get up. <laughs> he might be the best part of the movie. <laughs> I mean, it worked. Go. Oh my gosh, just in time. Talk about cutting it close. Is that gonna fall and set off the alarm? Don't let it drop! Ah! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is so stressful. Ah! Ah! You think Yen made it out okay? I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh my gosh. But he uh, he didn't hit the ground. Okay. <gasps> no. Linus, can you read me? Do not blow the door. No. No, he's gonna die! Did, did it not work? <sighs> oh, did you check the batteries? <laughs> it worked. Is he okay on the other side? What the f you bet? Okay, he's okay. <laughs> that is the sexiest thing I have ever seen. <laughs> you gonna answer that? I don't have a cell phone. This isn't mine. Who the hell is this? The man who's robbing you. <laughs> Oh! What the hell's going on in the vault? Uh, nothing, sir. It's all normal. Show me. <laughs> it would be better if you weren't around here for this. All right. You proved your point. You're a dead man. Do you believe I'm gonna allow you to parade bags full of my money out my casino door? No. Yes, You're gonna carry that force. They should have. Oh. The other half we're leaving in your vault, booby trapped, as a hostage. You let our 80 million go, and you get to keep yours. You try and stop us, we'll blow both cash lines. You can lose 80 million dollars tonight secretly, or you can lose 160 million dollars publicly. It's your mm. decision. Hi. Make the call. Where's Danny? Oh, no. You request that you go upstairs and watch TV. You have a deal. I promise. Fantastic. Here's what you do. Is there any chance that they weren't actually calling 911 
they've thought of everything with this plan. So maybe they hacked the phone lines, the signal, something. As soon as your guards hit the casino floor, a white unmarked van is going to pull up in your valet station. If anyone so much as approaches the driver's door, we'll blow everything. My men will exit the building. And once their safety is confirmed, you'll get your vault back. Mm. Run and hide, asshole. Run and hide. So they're all gone. I just don't know how they're gonna get, get away with this because Benedict truly will always go after them. That cover's on. Prepare to cut power. Oh, so they blew up the money. What's going on? Talk to me. It has been detonated. You <laughs> <laughs> just lost all your money. And find that honey hook into my system! Get out of the van now! Was now! there a switcheroo with the van at any point? Sir, our search has yielded no suspects. Nor are we able to determine at this time how they entered or exited the premises. Take your men out. Sir, may I suggest you stand outside until the bomb no. squads it? It's your vault. Blue team, move it out! Walsh, where are we with a van? Oh my gosh. No one was in the van the whole time. There's nobody inside. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Enough monkey business. Do it already. Stop monkeying around. So where is the money? I'm afraid that there was no money in the bag, sir. Are they the SWAT no team? The, bags? the voice kind of sounded familiar. Flyers, sir. <laughs> For hookers. Sherry. Walsh. Are those all Cue up the tape well? to the robbery. Does it say Bellagio on the vault floor? No, it doesn't. Uh, I don't understand. We had it installed on Tuesday. The images we saw of those men robbing us was a tape. It was staged. Somebody made a duplicate of my vault. They got you. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, they did it. Okay, they did that! I wasn't off! See, I could be a criminal. And they're just walking out with it. <laughs> He's not in the room. Hey, Benedict. And he had an alibi, because he was in this room the whole time, so it couldn't have been him. Do you have a hand in this? Did and I have my what? hand in what? I have no idea what you're talking about. I hope Benedict believes you. You're free to go, Shoma. Hello. Turn to channel 88. Who is this? Don't worry about it. What happened, Benedict? Did you get robbed or something? I'm gonna give you one last chance. Where's my money? What if I told you I could get your money back? If you give up Tess, what would you say? I would say yes. Yeah, he would do it. I know a guy. We were in the joint together. Anybody pulls any job in the Western United States, he knows about it. You know a guy. Show Mr. Ocean the exit and contact the police. I'm sure he's in violation of his parole. I mean, that is true. Tess. You of all people should know, Terry. In your hotel, there's always someone watching. Wait, that's my husband. Dean. Tess, I told you. I knew what I was doing. How long will you be? Well, three to six months, I guess. See you at the end of that, I guess? some nice retirement money now. Is that the end? Three to six months later. Okay, thank you. I do need an update. Brad Pitt once again eating. And you're out. 13 million and you drive this piece of cross country to pick me up? Blew it all on the suit. <laughs> Where are they? Back row, silver sedan, 10 o'clock. Stopped and picked up your personal effects. Hope you don't mind. I'm not sure these belong to me. Oh, look who it is. Hi. Hi. We need to get Rusty a girl. There's a women's prison <laughs> down the road. Oh. You said that you sold this. You liar. Thief. <laughs> right back at ya. Uh-oh. You're following us. The story was so fun. This, the entire movie was so exciting.
Okay, I need to say it while I'm still thinking about it or else I'll forget. So I know that Brad Pitt is known for eating in scenes and I know that like he likes doing that. But this movie, I think, is the most I've ever noticed it. I swear, in every single scene, he was eating something. I mean, obviously, that's so clearly a Brad Pitt move. So maybe I need to watch, go back and watch more of, of his movies to notice it more. But it was everywhere in, in this movie. It was in literally every scene. This movie was so much fun. I mean, the cast is incredible. I knew that Brad Pitt was in it. I knew that George Clooney was in it. But everyone else, they're such big names. And I, I don't know, I'm going to be honest, I don't know all of the actors' names. But, I mean, we have Matt Damon. I think, I can't remember his last name. El, it's Elliot something, the the dad from Friends. And I'm, I'm sure he's been in a lot of other things. Don Cheadle. And, I mean, a lot of other names that just aren't coming to my head right now. Oh my gosh. I mean, this cast is stacked. They worked so well together. I mean, this was amazing. And I love how, I mean, they did outline the plan a little bit and like they, they told the audience what was going to happen, but there were still so many twists and turns and so many parts of the plan that they didn't tell you. So it was just so fun to discover the plan like as they were going through it. I mean, the heist part of it, I mean, it was the majority of the movie. We were just watching it happen, but it was so exciting. It was so interesting to watch. And even when you think that, oh, something is messing with the plan. Oh, at some point, oh, Benedict is going to have the upper hand. He figured it out. He's going to kill them all. They were still a few steps ahead of him. They were still like 10 steps ahead. I mean, the fact that they had been using old footage that they were the SWAT team. They literally just carried the money out. I mean, there were so many exciting twists and turns with this movie. And I'm curious with all of the other ones, if it's the same. I mean, I, I imagine that these are all heist movies. I mean, I think that's what all of the movies are. So I'm curious if they're all done just as well as this one is. I mean, this was so good. I mean, the cast was incredible. I just loved the storyline and how they just gave you a little bit at a time and you were discovering it as it was happening. Oh, this was so entertaining and just so well done. And I am in to this. I also feel like, I mean, I mean, obviously this is a joke, but I, I feel like I could ro ro rob a casino now. Yeah, I, I, feel, I feel confident in my abilities at this point. Well, this was Ocean's Eleven. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time.